Well, one thing you said was, you know, early in B2K's career before you guys broke up, that Omarion Fizz, there's always something between them, mm-hmm. and it was usually over a girl. Yeah, no, it seemed like there was always a bunch of friction amongst amongst all of us. You know, we, me and Amari, we had our little things. We we almost got into a few fights. You know what I mean? Um, I've I've seen Boog and Fizz. You know, you, you know, go body. Yeah, let, let's go body. You know what I'm saying? But it was definitely some friction uh, uh, amongst the group. You know what I'm saying? I think as you get older, you 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 start to develop your characteristics and who you become as a man, and you know, uh, you you start seeing some of those things that were there that. Maybe you didn't like about each other as a you know as as you know as kids. I mean, did you actually see them early on beefing over a girl or that type of thing? I would definitely I would definitely say that it was a time I recall. You know, you got four you got four fly young young, young cats, right? So you you know we we would typically just let the girl choose, and if it was something like that, we'd be like, "Yo, is it cool if you know if I date this one, or if it's cool?" Like we would just keep it out there, you know what I mean? But for some reason, them two like you know like he liked one girl, you know maybe I'm not gonna say her name, but he you know come to find out he was already you know kind of dating her in a way, you know what I'm saying? So. That kind of probably crushed though, and then that that happened a few times, from what I know. <laughs> so, I don't know. And then, you know, Fizz. A lot of people don't know this, but Little Fizz got his solo record deal first before Marion. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's 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 more friction. That you know what I'm saying? So I don't know if this resentment or or you know what I mean. But I I think at one time them guys were like they were like best friends. You know what I mean? I was talking to Fizz not too long ago. He's like, man, he's like, and his thank yous. I think he you know shout out to his best friend. So. I don't know, man. We all have our have our times where we we're bicker and we we go back and forth. Uh, but it's a little bit different now now that we're older. But I don't have any grudges, and I mean, I just talked to Fizz and Bug the other day. We don't have any grudges. We really, we really just me personally. I really just want to put us all back into a brotherly hood. Especially when I look up and I see you know New Edition going back on tour again. It's just like like I told you the last last time I came here, I told you I was gonna put the tour together. You know what I'm saying? And that's exactly what happened. You know what I'm saying? Right, I've worked right. really, really hard for the past 16 years. And, you know, that's why that very first interview was really important for me, too, because it was my it was it was also a message and for a, a, a way for me to talk to the guys, you know, just by bringing bringing love. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to talk about old business or this or that. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, when there's controversy and there's drama, people don't want to be around any of that. You know what I'm saying? People scatter like roaches. You know, so, you know, just the older you get, the more mature you get, especially when you go, if you want to continue to operate in this business, you, you got to have a more mature approach because, you know, you can go about things the wrong way.